Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For the friends, who are not native speakers, you can turn on subtitles. Across the world, several action plans are in place to replace the IC engine vehicles, with zero emission vehicles. One of the potential candidates for emission-free roads, is electric vehicles, which is envisaged to decarbonize road transportation in the near future. Electric vehicles manifest a wide scope for retrieving power from the electric motors, during decelerating periods like stops, traffic signals, downhill etc. But, the electric drive should be equipped, with the control capability to recuperate power back, to the source during braking periods. Thus, one among the major requirements, for a more efficient power train of an electric vehicle, is regenerative braking, which can improve driving range, which in turn will improve battery capacity. However, regeneration can be executed in electric vehicles, just through software modifications in the controller, without the need of any additional power electronic components. Induction machines, are identified as the most preferred ones, due to their low cost, ruggedness, low maintenance, and good efficiency, over a wide region of operation. Induction machines, exhibits higher efficiency and reliability, in higher capacity machines, which is a much sought specification, for traction applications and in e-mobility. Induction machines can be controlled by scalar or vector control techniques, in both motoring and in regeneration modes. Vector control exhibits battery dynamic performance, but with an overhead of laborious computations. Also their dynamic response is highly influenced by machine parameter uncertainties. Thus, robustness has to be brought into the control against parameter variations, if it is to be extended for electric vehicles drive applications. In the last videos, we have already looked at the field-oriented control strategy, when we analyzed the PMSM, and we will apply this also for the asynchronous machine. That means, it would be advantageous, to watch the first videos to understand the controller design technique with pole placement. In the last two videos, we saw that the dynamic model of an induction motor, is governed by the following differential equations. In the induction motor model, ISD and ISQ are the stator currents in the DQ reference frame, CRD is the rotor flux and D axis. The input variables USD and USQ represent the stator voltages in the DQ reference frame. Omega S and Omega M are the synchronous and rotor velocity respectively. TL is the load torque that might change with respect to time. It is seen from the dynamic model of the induction motor, that the control problem is similar to that of PMSM, however, to a certain degree, it is more complex. From the control system design point of view, the manipulated variables, in the induction motor control problem are the stator voltages, USD and USQ. Similar to PMSM control, there will be current controllers to regulate the ISD and ISQ stator currents, by manipulating the stator voltages USD and USQ in the DQ reference frame. The design strategy of the PI current controllers, is not new to us, because it simply follows the same current controller design procedures outlined in the last videos. However, the difference might be the reference signal to the ISD, that is not zero, but a constant depending on the operating condition of CRD, that is the rotor flux and D-axis. If the control objective is to regulate the velocity of the induction motor, it is seen, that this objective will be achieved by manipulating the stator current ISQ, while maintaining the rotor flux CRD as a constant specified as operating condition of the induction motor. The additional complexity of the problem of induction motor control, results from the discrepancy between synchronous speed omega s and electrical rotor speed omega e. Beyond that, omega s is not measured directly, but is used in part transformations, to convert voltages and currents variables, in the reference frame alpha beta to reference frame dq. Thus, the estimation of omega s, is required as part of the control systems, and this is called the slip estimation. In this control system design, similar to PMSM control, a cascade feedback and feedforward control system, is configured for velocity control. 
This simulation shows the speed control system configuration of a typical industrial induction machine drive. In the drive control systems, there are two PI controllers to control the D axis and Q axis stator currents, and one PI controller in the outer loop to achieve the speed control of the motor. This was an introduction to speed control, using the field-oriented control strategy for the asynchronous machine. In the next videos, we will design and simulate using MATLAB Simulink in detail, all controllers and components of this strategy, as we have already done for the PMSM. Please try to watch the previous videos to be better on the stand here. Thank you for watching, please don't forget to like and subscribe, because without your support, this channel cannot survive.